lots of gamers, nerds, cosplayers alike. I decided to make this video because I had a really, really, really rough time um, trying to get information on the costume that I decided to wear at this year's New York City Comic Con. I decided to go as Lupo from Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Um, the game was like kind of like a regular typical Resident Evil game, except this was squad based. You had a squad, which you could pick and choose which people you wanted on your squad. But the thing that really drove me to the video game was each one of them had a different type of respirator that they wore to protect themselves, obviously, but they were lit up by luminescence all in different types of ways. Um, each mask was completely different, which was awesome, in my opinion. Um, it just made for an eerie look for the video game and really, really stuck out to me. So I really, really wanted to recreate Lupo because she had this awesome full face respirator. I have a bunch of pictures and a video of how I actually did the mask. Um, and then took pictures so you can see clearly in detail um, what I was doing. Um, when I was looking online, there was a bunch of different people who did um, a lot of masks for Lupo. A lot of people just like them. Um, I actually wanted something that looked pretty realistic and really authentic looking, which is really, really hard to find. So this is my mask. Okay, anyway, this is a full face respirator. It is made by Honeywell. It's a North uh, 5400. It comes in small, medium slash large. So like two sizes. I needed to get a small because my face is really tiny. Um, I actually went to Home Depot and tried on a bunch of other respirators um, to see what I could really fit into. And all they had was mediums and they were huge on me. So if you have a small face, try to find this mask. Um, it was really, really hard for me to find and they're extremely pricey in my opinion. Um, by the time I got done with it before shipping, it was like $100 just for this mask. If you were to follow my tutorial on how I actually put the L-wire luminescence in the mask, you're going to totally ruin the point of this respirator. You're poking holes in it and that kind of compromises the whole thing of the mask. So if you're willing to get a mask that you're probably not going to use for anything but this costume, then here's your mask. The only two things that I do not like about this mask um, is this is really big compared to Lupo's. If I was to take this off, this looks more on her size, but this is completely orange and that looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then there's this obnoxious line because it's broken down into three different pieces. So this was the closest one I could get and it was pretty cheap, I guess for $100 if that's cheap to you. A couple um, things about wearing a respirator. Actually, I was quite surprised that this one is extremely comfortable. Um, I didn't have a problem wearing it all day. If you have a longer face, I would advise you getting a small, um, because apparently this just rubs up on your nose the entire time. So you want to get one that actually fits to your face. If you try to take out any of these seals so that you could breathe easier, which I thought would have been the greatest idea ever, because look, it goes right into the mask. I had to just breathe right through it. Um, it actually will fog up the entire mask on the inside. And I tried different, maybe if I take this one out, put this one in, it didn't work. So if you can find a way that it works, please let me know. Inquiry minds would love to know. Also, when you wear this mask, no one can hear you. I probably screamed at the top of my lungs the entire time I was at Comic-Con wearing this respirator. Um, and I think it's just because there's you know, everything's sealed up. I mean, you can barely hear anything. Poor Devin had to communicate with other people what I was saying. We had hand signals by the end of the day. <laughs> but it was extremely comfortable. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll probably be explaining little things that I did throughout the video just so you understand and I'll be including pictures. Stay on him! Oh, oh. How do I... Cut them off. On it, Lupo. <laughs> Inspector, take them out. Stay on them. Stay on them. Stay on them.
Okay, first and foremost, awesome video is awesome. Moving on. <laughs> As you can see, I have a picture here up of Lupo with her full face respirator. The one I used in this video is by Honeywell. It is a North 5400. It's in small. And I found it online for about a hundred bucks without shipping. The materials that you're gonna need is a sewing needle, some fishing line, doesn't matter what test it is, plastic clamps and light blue fish tank tubing, which is also known as silicone air hose tubing. Um, you can find it at any pet store, honestly. Now onto the L wire. I purchased it from a site called thatscoolwire.com. You can purchase L wire from any site that you prefer. I just decided to go with this website because when I called them up and had so many questions, they were extremely helpful. So as you can see here, I wanted to show you the pictures that they have on their website of what size wire they have and the actual brightness of the wire. You'll see that the 2.6 millimeter L wire is a lot brighter than all the other wires. This is because the wire is the second generation L wire. The second generation doesn't come in any other size besides the 2.6 millimeter. So if you want the brightest wire you can have, the only one you can get is the 2.6 millimeter one from this website. To express that the 2.6 millimeter wire is the way that you want to go, I included two of the wires I purchased. The left one is the 2.6 millimeter and the right one is the 5.0 millimeter one. Now you can see that the 2.6 millimeter is much brighter than the other one. All right, first you wanna take your mask and take it all apart by using the two screws on the left and right hand side of the mask, it takes off the black bracket, and then you can take the actual shield off. First you wanna start with the airline tubing that we have. Remember it should be a light blue color and should be a little bit see-through so that when you put the L wire behind it, it'll actually glow through it. Now you'll want to measure out the tubing by using the edge of the mask as I'm showing here in the video. Once you have the tubing all measured out, we're going to cut the tubing in half so we can fit the L wire inside. As you can see in my video, I'm just using an X-Acto knife and I'm just dragging it along so I only cut one side. Now that we've cut the tube in half, you're gonna notice that I'm actually feeding the wire in through the tube. I'm going to do this about two more times. Once I get to the other end, I'll fold the wire and start again. I'm doing this just so I can get the actual size of how much wire I'm going to need. Once I have the length of the wire, I'm going to start twisting it little by little. You'll notice that I'm plugging it in now to show you what it looks like. On a side note, you don't want to make it as tight as I'm showing you right here. You want it to be a little bit looser so that it fits inside the tubing. You can now take the wire and put it inside of the tubing. You'll notice that it does not completely fit inside. But for right now, some plastic clamps will help do the job. Now you'll need to get out your sewing needle and your fishing line. This doesn't have to look beautiful, it just needs to keep the tubing around the wire. You just want to kind of stitch it in a way so that the wire doesn't escape. The only reason that I'm doing this is because I need the wire and the tubing to be all one piece. That way it's a lot easier for me to put it inside of the respirator. Once I was done sewing the tubing around the wire, I put it inside of the respirator to make sure everything would fit. Now you'll need to pick the position of where you want the wire to feed through that you can put it into the battery pack. I chose to do it at the bottom because I wanted to feed the wire up past my ear to go back into my actual harness. Now remember, like I said before, with this step, you're going to compromise the mask. And to be honest, it's a considerable hole that you have to put in there. I have a few clamps on the wire to hold it inside of the respirator. What I'm doing now is actually using the fishing line to secure it inside of the respirator. You just want the fishing line to go around the tubing. You don't want to go through it because you'll risk puncturing one of your wires. A couple hints for this project. What you want to do is actually follow the seam on the bottom of the respirator. And also, from the top, you want to go in at an angle with your needle. This will help keep it secure inside of the respirator. Once you've made it all the way around the mask, you want to make sure that you secure it to the other side of the tube where you started from. 
Bum, 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 bum. Now for the moment of truth. You'll see that when I plug it in, I have to go through several different settings to get to the actual one that stays steady. There's two different pulses that you can get with this inverter. I'd have to say, not too shabby for my first time. Now before I let you go, I wanted to explain why I used the tubing to wrap around the wire in this project. I've seen a lot of pictures online of replicas of Lupo's mask, and a lot of people just put the L wire in the mask and wrapped it around a couple of times. I just didn't like the way that looked. Doesn't mean I have anything against anybody who's doing it. I just thought this made it look more realistic. I felt like it had more of a thick glow than a bunch of wires. Without actually putting the entire harness on, which are the two straps on top of my head and the one behind my ear, I just wanted to show you what the mask looks like on. It's really comfortable, but it's really, really hard to talk. As you can tell, I'm screaming at the top of my lungs just so you understand. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned a lot. Thank you for watching. One last thing. Fizzgate wants to say hi. That, and I wanted to say thank you to Devin for all of your help through this entire process. I know it was stressful, but you are incredible, and you are my rock, and I love you, and thank you so much for helping me through this entire process, and you are an amazing personal assistant. Seriously. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye.